iOS 17.2 officially brings us the new journal app that Apple introduced back at WWDC. Uh, and so, yeah, let's go hands on and check it out for the first time. Now, I have not used it at all. I just put iOS 17.2 on this iPhone 15 Pro and uh, I have no idea what to expect. So we're just going to kind of figure it out together. So here you go. Here is the journal application. And so when you open it up, you have welcome to journal, write about your experiences and find meaningful insights. Let journaling suggestions and writing prompts help you get started. All right, let's do it. So uh, pretty basic UI. There is quite literally nothing besides a plus button to add an entry. And then I believe this is just a filter. Uh, it looks like a filtering icon, but I can't do anything because I have no entries. So once you hit the plus icon to add in your first journal entry, it's actually going to uh, ask you if you want to turn on journal suggestions. So uh, I, again, I have not interacted with this and I really don't know much about it. Um, I don't think Apple really talked a whole lot about it besides what was announced at the keynote. And I really don't remember, uh, but what I'm guessing here is that whatever you do throughout your day, it's going to pull that data and be able to give you an idea of what you did so that when you go to journal, you know what you were doing and who you were talking to, the music you were listening to. And I only know that because I peeked ahead. And if you hit customize here, uh, these are the different customized suggestions. So you have activity for workouts and exercise, media for podcasts and music, contacts for people you message and call, photos for library memories and shared photos and significant locations, which is talking about the places that you've been. And so this will be cool. Unfortunately, I, I don't have this on my main phone, but you know, when I go on trips and stuff, it'd be really cool to see if it recognizes some of the places that I've been and says, Hey, do you want to put in a suggestion, uh, a journal, um, entry about this? Maybe the music I might find. Uh, I don't know. It'd be really cool to see how this works, but right now you have the ability to turn that off or on depending on which category you want for suggestions, or you can hit not now if you don't want Apple to have access to even more of that data. Um, but don't worry if you do, uh, suggestions are private as it says here. So, all right. So this is what it's going to look like when you want to enter a new entry you have new entry up here at the top uh, and then you have select a moment and write and there's recommended or recent moments and so uh here are some of those suggestions i'm guessing or just like ideas so here's a reflection what does an ideal day in your life look like what's a recent difficult decision you're glad you made how did you decide what to do what is the nicest thing someone has said about you recently these are all nice things um and then under recent uh, I don't have anything there because, well, we're just using it. So let's, let's try one of these. Um, what is the nicest thing? Oh man, these are all, I don't know how to answer any of these. So let's just make something up. Okay. What is the nicest thing someone has said about you recently? Uh, you know what? I've uh, recently posted a lot of videos on this channel and someone said that they liked my video. So, uh, we'll say that my YouTube videos are not terrible. Here at the bottom, you have this little icon here. This is for the suggestions for those moments. Um, I'm Again, this would be a lot better if I actually had suggestions already set for me. Uh, but here we have access to our photos. We can take a picture, which let's do that. Let's take a photo. Okay, we're gonna use that photo. Um, someone said my YouTube videos are not terrible. Okay, cool. I think this is a voice memo. Yeah, so you can add a voice memo and then you can add your location. So pretty neat uh, if you aren't coming at it like I am where you're just using it for the first time and have no idea what to journal about. Um, but yeah, I really like the idea of this. I'm not a journal person, but I can totally see myself using this, especially like when going on trips and stuff. I don't know if I'll be a daily journal person, but I feel like when I have some time and like something really cool happens that day, um, maybe I'll do it. Or if the suggestions are happening where you're getting notifications like, Hey, you should journal, which I'm guessing is going to happen. Um, that would actually maybe get me in the mood to do it because it's kind of reminding me to do it. And you can hear, um, over here, you can add a bookmark to this one. Uh, you can customize the date of the entry and then of course hit done. And there it is. It's saved and we can add multiple, uh, journal entries for one day. Obviously you can probably add as many as you want. Um, let's just hit new entry. So yeah, if you don't want to use any of the, uh, built in recommendations or reflection topics, you can just go ahead and go at it rogue. Um, let's do an audio one. This is my first journal entry uh, via an audio message. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, this will be a good time to reflect back in a month or two and see if I actually use the journal app uh, more than just my initial demo for this video. Then we can play it. 
this is my first journal entry uh, via an audio cool. We all know what that sounds like, but I'm going to hit done. Uh, oh, it's still playing. Okay, cool. And so another thing I've noticed here is that uh, after a couple of entries, it now says lock your journal, protect your journal with the device passcode or face ID. Let's go ahead and set that up now. Do you want to require a passcode after one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes? I'm going to say immediately. My journal is going to be top secret stuff. So good to know that I can do that. Let's turn it on. Allow. There's my face. By the way, now that I have some multiple posts in here, I can actually filter. And so here are the filtering options. You can go by all entries, photos, recorded audio, or reflections, which is actually kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> I've never used a journal app before. I'm guessing a lot of day one users. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you are a heavy day one or just any journal app user. Let me know what you think of this just by looking at it and see if it's something that might replace what you already have. But it's a very simplistic app. I'm not entirely sure why it took so long to get released in iOS. 17. Perhaps it's a lot of the behind the scenes suggestive stuff that Apple is working for or working towards. Um, I, again, I haven't really tested a lot of that out because I just got the update. Um, but yeah, so far, I really like it. Um, you know, you can add a ton of stuff. What does your ideal day in your life look like? Uh, a day in which I can get a full night's sleep and none of my kids are sick. That's actually a pretty realistic entry there because uh, my entire family or all of my kids are sick at the same time and we haven't slept a whole lot. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, that sounds like a good ideal day in my life right now. So we'll add that in there. And yeah, there are your entries. And I really enjoy the look and feel of this app. And so that's just been a quick look at the journal app inside of iOS 17.2 developer beta. Uh, if you want to try it right now, just sign up for the developer beta or you can wait uh, maybe a month or two, who knows how long until 17.2 comes out. Uh, but when it does, you'll have it available on your device. And I would love to hear from you about it, what you think about it, all of your thoughts in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.